And last up, this is one of the big stories. Cardano's Gogan era inching closer. And I will just say this. I was very critical of uh, Cardano because the price never moves and, you know, I get antsy because I'm human. And that's just how it goes, right? We want uh, everything to happen faster now, quicker and all that stuff. But uh, I've been critical of that. Also been critical about uh, Cardano moving so slow. I'm like, just get, get going. Just, you know, make it work. And, uh, of course, I was wrong because you would see all these different protocols and different problems that are going on. I mean, look, as far as DeFi goes, I mean, that is just a dumpster fire in some of those different projects. Also, uh, real quickly, 100 million liquidated on the DeFi protocol compound following Oracle exploit. I'm not gonna go over it because it's just like every day there's some other problem with uh, DeFi and what is going on there. But so I've been critical of Cardano and they're doing, the, they're doing it the right way, right? They're doing it the right way, doing the right things, taking it very slow because they're trying to really do some pretty good things and pretty amazing things in my opinion. So what's going on here? Well, let's take a look. So Gogan, the forthcoming era of the Cardano blockchain, inching closer to full implementation in the most recent rollout update. And of course, Gogan, if you don't know, that's going to uh, be able to implement smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. This is what it looks like. So before, I mean, we've already, we're pretty much in the middle right now. I mean, kind of. So Byron, as far as the roadmap goes, that was the foundation. That was when they were kind of laying all the track. And then Shelly is when they actually went from an ERC-20 token to the mainnet, and then it became decentralized. That's why we all have now with Cardano with uh, pools, you can stake your Cardano. And it's actually now 51% is being done by individual pools. Hey, newsflash, I'll also be starting a Cardano staking pool. Give it about two or three weeks. I don't have the technical know how to do it. I'm um, assembling people to help me and to get it, make it be up 100% of the time because there's been different issues with downtime and other areas. So I'll let everybody know when that's up and uh, it's gonna take a while because I want it to be as good as it possibly can be. All right, so that's Shelly. Now, Gogan is all about smart contracts. And when this happens, when they get this going, now remember, it's not gonna be like immediate. We're looking at Q1 2021. So after that happens, and they're gonna look for scaling. I think they're talking about Hydra with their 10,000 transactions per second. And then Voltaire is gonna be governance, but that's a ways out. So right now, they're focusing on the smart contract. I think it's a great move. And uh, I think it's what's gonna help push the price up a lot more. So it states, according to Cardano's uh, Vladimir, the node teams continue to deliver on adding native tokens and token locking features. On the project matter states that they are now close to opening up the pre-production environment that will make it possible to create and distribute native tokens on Cardano. Also, they have that ERC-20 converter, the tool that allows managing the tools in the Cardano chain or migrating tokens from other blockchains. If you haven't seen this, I did a video on this a, a while back, and it's pretty cool. You can just take any ERC-20 token that's on Ethereum, put it through this ERC-20 converter, and now it'll be on Cardano. So it's like seamless transition. So if Ethereum for any way, shape, or form can't handle 100% of the global requirements, <laughs> who, that just sounds ridiculous now that I say that. I mean, who can really, you know, take on 100% of the global requirements for everything out there. That's why I think there's not just gonna be one smart contract platform, I think it's gonna be multiple. And I think Cardano is one of those winners. And that's why also I've hedged my bet. It's uh, Ethereum, Cardano, EOS, Tezos. I've done that because I don't know which one's gonna be the ultimate winner. I don't think there is ever an ultimate winner. So I like to kind of spread things around. So then moving down, to finish up, the team is also finalizing the cost model of Plutus, the platforms that will power smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. The Plutus application uh, currently focuses on refreshing the Plutus playground, a web-based environment, lets developers work on an emulated version of Cardano. So this is one of those things that uh, Cardano likes to do. They like to kind of set things up, let the developers play around with it, break things, and then they kind of push it out to the masses. The beta release scope of Marlowe, a specialized language for Cardano smart contracts, is also almost finalized. So there's a lot of things going on in the background that we don't report on too much here because it's very technical. I am not a very technical person. Some of these things actually put me to sleep, but I know they are fantastic and they're great for the network. And again, some of these things are beyond me, but that's why you have a crack team that's been put together by Charles here to really address all the different issues that they can possibly think of globally and kind of work to be one of those dominating players. Anyhow, I mean, I could be wrong, but let me know what you think in the comments section. And that's it. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. If you don't know, uh, the Dan Teaches Crypto website is live. It's a free, 100% free, always is, always will be, 
um, and just kind of goes over the simplicity uh, and the, the simplest way I can uh, describe cryptocurrency digital assets. And they're broken down into five different categories. We've got the uh, four different course modules. There's five basics where we just go over like the basics, why cryptocurrency, why digital assets, how to do everything that you would you know probably need to know as far as crypto goes. Safety, how to avoid all the different scams because it's not about how much you make, it's how much you keep. Module three is all about investing, why I dollar cost average, also value averaged. And then the different things you need to do as far as like to do your own research for reviews. And the last one is how do I, like how do I buy Theta? How do I use Uniswap? How do I, you know, update my Nano Ledger and all those things. So those are all in module five. To sign up, just go to danteachescrypto.com. There's a link in every one of my videos. Sign up for free. Very simple thing, very simple to do, very easy. All right, so that's it. So thanks for watching all the way through. Appreciate it again. And if you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I'll let YouTube do its magic on that one. And uh, that is it. So thanks for watching again. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.